Hello everybody, what's going on? Jerome here. Today I have you guys some Balloon Star Defense 5 gameplay on the map Floating Islands. This is a map specific to Balloon Star Defense 5 Deluxe. It actually doesn't come from Balloon Star Defense 4 or anything of that nature. It is completely new and let's get this going. So here we go, we're going to throw it on easy mode here just for now. I want to get through all the missions on easy before I start doing them on different difficulties because I just feel like that's the right way to play the game. So to start off, I'm going to throw a Monkey Apprentice on the first island and let me give you guys a little bit of background information. As for where you can place your towers, you can place your towers on any of these floating islands and this land over here. You can't place it on the gray strip of land right here for some reason, just as part of the game, you can't do it, sorry. But you can place it anywhere else that is green. You can't place it on this island over here though, whoever just because the game hates you and doesn't want you to have fun. No, I don't really know why, you just, you can't, it's just part of the game, you can't place it anywhere on there, no matter where you try, so, uh, but still, you don't really need to do that. Now, some other aspects of it are the fact that it is obviously that the islands change every single round, so after your round is over, it'll switch the islands up and just make them follow along. So it's not that really that big of a deal, just because eventually, you know what I mean, they're going to hit the tower anyway. Like, say you had one at the beginning, you don't have to spaz out and then, like, when it goes, gets sent to the end, because you should still be able to fight throughout all of them. The only ones I'd really be worried about are spike traps, or sorry, spike factories and things like that, just because kind of people like to place those towards the end of the track, and to ensure that they're always at the end, I would suggest placing it here, because even though it's not at the very, very end of the track, it's at least a guaranteed, like, middle, like, three quarters of the way down the track, which is probably better better than having it say if it was put at the very front or put over here. It's probably better just to guarantee yourself that three quarters, even though it's, once again, not at the very, very end of the track. So yeah, I don't know. I haven't played Balloon Star Defense 5 Deluxe in about a week or so. I don't know why I just randomly took a break from it, but I like it and I am back playing it. Uh, some weird things though. I'm going to college tomorrow, and I know that sounds crazy. I'm going to be staying on campus, so I have to learn a lot of new things. I have to. I actually have to learn how to live stream off of my Mac. I have to get what is it? A better editing program than iMovie for my Mac. I have to find out how to use my Hopage on my Mac, which I think I need something called ITV from uh, out this company called Elgato. So I don't know. I personally. Personally, I'm going to be spending a lot of time today trying to learn how to do that, but I'm also going to keep up with the videos. And for those of you worried that I won't make as many videos as I used to because I'm in college, I'll probably make just about the same. I try and post three to five every single day. I'll probably, it might be a little like, you know, on the lower side of that, like maybe like three a day, but uh, I'm going to try my best to keep up with three to five a day. You know, not every day, you know, if I have a big test or anything like that, obviously don't expect it. But most days, I'm, you know, going to try my best here and uh, try and keep up the content that hopefully you guys have come to love on AS, Jerome ASF. I'm also going to try and upload to ASF a little more as well, but uh, mostly that, that might be not... Actually, that probably won't be too much trouble to be able to keep up with Jerome ASF and ASF. And who could forget Coco ASF, my dog's channel? <laughs> no, that channel actually was pretty much on hiatus because obviously I can't bring my dog to college, so that's not going to be uploaded to every single day or even probably week. <laughs> but still, I don't know. I just kind of have that channel for fun. It doesn't really serve any purpose. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, I have a dog named Coco and I made a channel for her. And for whatever reason, it got like 1,200 subscribers in like a three-day period, four-day period. And I was kind of shocked. I was like, what the fuck? But I didn't question it. I just kind of, you know, took it. I was like, okay, I'll take it. And yeah, so that's where we are. Now, the one thing I won't suggest is using the tax shooters. Tax shooters are awful because, as you can tell, you can't put them in the middle, which means if you can't put them in the middle, they're not going to be able to... Or sorry, if you put them in the middle, they can't hit anyone that tracks. It means they do no damage. So you have to choose a side. So say you choose, you aim it towards this side, right? Well, what happens when it shifts down to here? So you ready? It follows through. This is its new positioning now, for instance, and it can't hit the track again. So it's like every other round, it won't be able to hit the track. And to me, that just seems stupid and pointless. I'm sure to some people, it's, it's not that big of a deal, but... But for me, that's like, that's a, that's a no-go. That's like, fuck it, I, no, it's not worth it. <laughs> so, I don't know, I, I could just be overreacting, but personally, that's what I think. In my opinion, one of the best, actually, for this map might be the Monkey Ace, simply because you can change the angle at which they go. You can either do a figure eight or the infinity symbol, or you can do even a circle. And I think that works the best, just because it allows you to kind of uh, pick and choose. Like, say the setup you have isn't that good. Like, say you're like, oh, for this, I want to change it to a figure eight. You can just change it, because, you know, how... Uh, when it changes its positioning, it may change the effectivity of where it's like, you know, shooting or everything like that. So it just makes a little bit of sense and it's actually really fun to use. 
Now, another cool thing to use on this type of map is the Monkey Engineer. Simply because when he goes spawning all of his turrets around, it's just always good to have. And I find it funny because he can spawn turrets on different islands, and that leads to some really funny situations. Just to be able to have him spawning turrets all over the place on random islands and things like that, it can get a little bit funny. So, uh, personally, that's what I think. To some people, they're like, that's not funny at all, Jerome. Why are you fucking laughing? But to me, that's just something that's interesting and like a little fun addition. It doesn't happen that often, but every once in a while, being it like hangs over the edge, It'll probably hit there, you know, once again, not all the time. Oh, there we go. Yeah, see how it started spawning on uh, this island right here? So that's that's just one of the funny things it can do. But uh, as for spawning on a different actual floating island, that may take a little bit like longer, and you have to kind of angle it correctly on the edge of the thing, because right now it's not angled right to do that, so that's why it's not really going to occur. But still, you know, it's still a lot of fun. Here we go. Now I'm trying to upgrade. Whenever I use these guys, I always upgrade two to the left and two to the right. And then I, I usually just pick and choose if I want to go to the right or left after that. It doesn't really, it's not really that big of a deal to me, but I usually have to pick for some reason. So GG. Alrighty, we are ready to go. I'm probably going to get the sharper do uh, darts upgrade pretty soon. I think that's probably, the, no, not probably. It's definitely the best one. And this one's my favorite here, the Never Miss Targeting. It's uh, pretty much just a heat seeking uh, darts for your, uh, what's it called? For your monkey ace. So personally, I think that's probably one of the best upgrades in the game. Uh, you don't need it, obviously, but I'd highly recommend it. Now, one game I am really hyped up for is going to be Borderlands 2. Borderlands 2 is actually going to be amazing. And if you're wondering who got it in terms of the ASF crew, it's me, Matt, Zach, and Mitch obviously got it, and Christian so far. Those are the only people in the ASF crew that have gotten it. Hopefully some more people will follow along, but, uh, I mean, you know, I'm sure they will. It's not even like hopefully they will. They, they definitely will eventually. It's just, it's just a matter of convincing them to uh, do so. Now, I put this guy in the edge here just because I wanted to see him start spawning turrets like in different islands and stuff like that and see what it looks like, and uh, I'm just trying to have a little bit of fun with him as a joke. There we go. I'm going to try and win this thing by using Monkey Engineers, Monkey Ace. I'm going to try and do, like, because everyone always complains I don't diversify my units enough, and the like, Jerome, gets boring seeing you use the same strategy over and over again. So I'm trying to uh, use different strategies, things like that, that may be a little bit taboo to me, but still fun at the same time. Just things that I kind of enjoy to do, so hopefully you guys will fall in suit and like this. There we go. Now, that guy I upgraded using the 470 upgrade sprockets. I don't have to do that, but I might do it for both of them, just because, I don't know, it seems to work the best. It kind of increases the fire. It says it increases the fire rate of both the guy and its sentries, and I think that's key. If it was just increasing it for your actual guy, it wouldn't be worth it, but the fact that it upgrades your sentry turrets as well kind of makes it a lot better, so that's, that's why I would go around and use that, but of course, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, and everyone feels differently about it, so, you know, it's not something that is completely completely the same for everybody. There we go. I'm just going to place my balloon shipper at the end there. And, uh, he, he, of course, he'll shift around. I, I put him at the end there just because I figured next round will probably be in the front lines and so on and so forth. So, what the reason why I put this guy here is because I wanted to get him the ability to pop Moab balloons. If you're wondering why, it's just because that's probably, it's in my opinion, that's a really badass upgrade to be able to pop Moab balloons. He basically just sucks them in and does a shit ton of damage to them. And, uh, you know, that's a polite way of putting it, doing a shit ton. It's actually even, like, it's pretty, it's pretty graphic what he does to those Moab balloons. And, oh, I forgot, my computer account's level 46, so I can't even use that on this account. That's the one annoying part is that your levels in Balloon Sire Defense 5 Deluxe don't transfer over. There's a way to do it. It, but I'm too lazy to do it and it's not worth it. But uh, my PC version, I'm ranked like 50 something. And here I'm ranked 42. Online, I'm BTD5. Regular, I'm ranked like 69. So I just kind of, I'm all over the board pretty much. You, you can find like, I'm like all over the place with them because I have so many damn accounts in this game. There we go. We are almost to the point where we can grab ourselves a super monkey. And look, we got spy planes. So let's let's grab that ass and uh, upgrade it. I wish my monkey ace was fully upgraded. It kind of it's disappointing that he's not, which is one of the reasons I used him now because I kind of wanted to train him, get him a little bit better so that he can be used. And uh, hopefully that'll be uh, pretty easy. Let's see. I'm gonna put super monkey. I'll put him towards the middle, right, right there. We'll put him. Hopefully it does a little bit of damage. The one thing I don't know is if Monkey Villages impact sentry turrets. I know they impact the Monkey Engineer, but I just don't know if it impacts his turrets as well. So that's one thing I have to learn, because I'm kind of curious, because that would, that would definitely be worth it if you were to put one in like a mass area of Monkey Engineers. So that's just what I think. Now I'm going to hang this over the edge. I'm going to angle it right here. That way it always touches the Super Monkey, and there's a small chance it may actually touch other places as well. So that's why I'm going to put it there and hope for the best. There we go. Now, unfortunately, we can't hit uh, we can't hit camo balloons just yet using our Super Monkey, so I have to kind of get that upgrade myself. And uh, 
hopefully we'll be able to. So there we go. Setting up nicely. Now, one thing, once again, is if you don't have it already, it's definitely one of the best upgrades. Go to the Monkey Village, like I was saying, and just get yourselves the ability right here, Radar Scanner, to hit yourselves the Camo Balloons using any tower. It's well worth it, especially for your Super Monkey, so get that, and I guarantee you will not regret it at all. There we go. Popping on through them pretty well right there, actually. That was kind of nice. And, uh, let's see here. We got Laser Blasts. Yeah, I'd say we have a really good setup here. I have no regrets at all about this setup. Here we go. Come on. Come on. It just feels so weird to know this is my last day here. You know, like in my town before I uh, I go off to college. It's just like, no, please. I don't know. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just, it's just, it's a weird feeling. I don't know if you guys, if you're in college or you're going to college or whatever, and you know what I'm talking about. It's just a really weird feeling to know that. Kind of like feels like time has flown so quickly. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. I don't think I'm prepared to kill that Moab balloon just yet. Uh, no, apparently... Apparently we are. I didn't think we would be able to, but apparently we were uh, top-notch there. So I'm going to place down some spike traps as well. No harm in placing a few spike traps every once in a while. It's not like it's going to kill you or anything like that or make you any less of a player. It just means, you know, you didn't plan too accordingly. But it doesn't mean it's the end of the world or anything like that. And certainly it doesn't make you a bad player. Just sometimes shit happens. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Shit happens. Here we go. Round 48, not much more to go. I am probably going to upgrade Jungle Drums right after I get myself the Plasma Blast upgrade. But the Plasma Blast is definitely my new priority. That's like imperative that I get that. So I'm going to try and focus on that. And uh, hopefully we can grab that one pretty quickly. Oh, come on, come on. We're going to need it quick. Don't die. Don't die on me. There we go. Look at the diff. I love that. When like they're trying to rush through and you get Plasma Blast mid-round, it's just incredible how much more damage it does. And I just love how it repels them, kind of. I don't know what it is about it, but it just makes it look so much cooler. There we go. I love uh, Jungle Drums because this 15% attack rate increase, and it's only a thousand two hundred. What is it? I think it's like one thousand two hundred fifty dollars, one thousand five hundred dollars. And to me, that's really cheap for getting that, especially for like say a Super Monkey. That is a really damn cheap upgrade. So I don't know. I like that, and uh, that's why I like to use it. But here we are. We're on the final round. I'll oh, take a look at that sexy uh, balloon chipper banging them hard. Oh come on, come on. Let's go. Let's go. There it is. Ah. Uh, Alright, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, be sure to subscribe and check out my other content. And stay tuned for more Balloon Sour Defense 5 in the future. Good night, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed.